everyone so we are having another unboxing day today another parcel has come for the piggies with all these lovely goodies in um, from Pet Care by Post which is uh, the same people that I got my last parcel from so lots of goodies for the piggies so let's dive in and see what we have okay so our first item from our lovely box of goodies today is some Burgess XL Nature Snacks. These ones are Fruity Feasts. Uh, they are heart shaped and they have banana and blueberry in them. Yummy healthy treats for rabbits and guinea pigs. 92% of vets recommend XL. This is a 60 gram bag. Okay, so it gives you, uh, well it gives you the XL feeding plan on the back if you're gonna incorporate these into the diet. Uh, baked with love, our XL fruity feasts are irresistible to rabbits and guinea pigs and are naturally healthy too. With no added sugar or artificial colours or flavours, Burge XL, XL fruity feasts are a complimentary feed for rabbits and guinea pigs. So these were £1.99, uh, which is I think quite reasonable for a 60 gram bag of tasty treats. Uh, so they consist of uh, grass, gram flour, cold pressed rapeseed oil, pea flour, fresh banana, fresh blueberry, dried apple, carrot and turmeric. So yeah, so really nice. Now I got these along with, these were also one ninety nine. the other range. Uh, so these are the Herbie Hearts with mixed herbs and apple, also from Burgess XL, Nature Snacks. Okay, so same thing except these is grass, uh, cold pressed rapeseed oil, uh, what have we got here, spinach, dried mixed herbs, which is oregano, basil, thyme, dill, rosemary, uh, dried apple, dried carrot, dandelion leaf, chamomile, kale. So another tasty snack. Obviously these are treats, so should be given very sparingly. Okay, and I actually then went the whole hog and, or should I say whole pig, and, got uh, the other th limited edition pumpkin ones so these are pumpkin pieces again these are all heart shaped okay 60 grams uh, rabbits and guinea pigs uh, so this one uh, carrot autumn forage blend pumpkin sage parsley so that's got herbs in as well so these three packs were all 1.99 each all from the Birchick Sexel nature snack range and uh, yeah, we have pumpkin pieces, herby hearts, and fruity feasts. So I think uh, the piggies will love at least one of these, I'm hoping, probably all of them. And I shall be giving these sparingly over the next few weeks. So there we go. Lovely start to our box. Okay, so our next item is a bit of enrichment for the piggies. So this is from Rosewood. It's their naturals range and it's a seagrass fun ball and this is a large one and as you can see from my hands that is a pretty large ball so that will cause the, a lot of fun in the piggy room I'm sure a fun play and chew ball made from 100% natural materials completely glue wire and staple free ideal for rabbits, guinea pigs and ferrets so this is actually quite substantial so basically you've got lots of seagrass just twisted and entwined together uh, it is hollow in the middle, so you could possibly squeeze some hay in there for extra enrichment. What does it say on the back of the label? Designed to stimulate and entertain your pet, made from natural seagrass and rattan, uh, steam treated. Not recommended for pets under eight weeks of age. Supervised pets at all times. So yeah, so I would say definitely if you have baby piggies or baby rabbits, um, I would be very, very careful because obviously once these open up a bit, you do not want their heads being stuck in these little in these gaps so yeah just be careful of that but but normal size piggies and rabbits they'll have fun bashing it around and giving it a good chew i've had one of these before and it seemed to go down really well they enjoyed having a good old nibble as well as throwing it about okay so uh the price on this i picked it up on the pet care by post website for this is the large 279 and according to that website I had a saving of £1.20 so yeah so really good so I saved £1.20 on this which is quite a substantial amount so I'm really pleased with that so yeah £2.79 um, and I think it's worth it it's, it's a nice large piece of enrichment for the piggies 
Um, and if you've got rabbits or ferrets, I'm sure they'll really enjoy it. Okay, so we're going back to some foodie treats. So these are the Apple and Pansy Nibble Hearts, again from Rosewood Naturals. Uh, these are six delicious grain-free cookies made with vegetables and nutritious herbs with wonderful flavours of real apple and edible pansy flower. The perfect way to show your pet just how much you love them. Ideal for small animals. So you get six of these heart-shaped compacted treats with apple and pansy in. So have a look at the composition on the back. Uh, so pea flour, vegetable oil, grass seed, apples, canary seed, buckwheat, peppermint, parsley, carrots, dandelion, nettle, hemp, linseed, fennel seed, viola flowers, black cumin seed, vegetable starch. Okay, so it says here, you know how you'd rather eat tasty food, carefully prepared with healthier, more interesting ingredients. Well, so would your small pets, and now they can. All our delicious treats are created to appeal to and stimulate your pet, brightening their day. With treats as special as these, you'll soon have them literally eating out of your hand. So yeah, so we get again giving them sparingly, all right, because they are a treat. But you get six good sized hearts in here. Well, actually, there is seven. One, two, three, four, five. There is seven. Two, three. Yeah, seven. Oh well, bonus. Even though it says six. <laughs> okay, so the price for these, and they are the nibble hearts. Uh, 174 I paid on Pet Care by Post, and according to this, I saved 75p off the RRP price. So I thought that was pretty good. So 174, and I saved 75p. Okay, continuing our snacky treats, although this is probably a little bit healthier. So these are two packs of the Naturals, again Rosewood, Herbal Garden mixes. So as you can see, lots of nice grassy herbly assortment in there all right these are 100 grams bags so they're identical bags i've got two of them uh, a wonderful mix of healthy aromatic herbs including green oat dandelion peppermint nettle and chamomile naturally rich in fiber vitamins oils and minerals to rabbits guinea pigs chinchillas dagoes a little taste of heaven wow well, there we go so this looks really nice and green uh, so the quality looks good uh, let's have a look on the back of the composition. So yes, yeah, so you've got green oat, parsley, alfalfa, green wheat, nettle, melissa dandelion, peppermint, meadow hay, chamomile. So this again, I, I find with this stuff, it's quite nice to sprinkle on top of their hay so they can forage for it. Um, and then that ekes it out a little bit sparingly, especially when you've got 11 piggies like I have. So basically, I like to scatter feed it uh, equally you can stuff it into some tubes and make it a bit more fun that way but yeah really nice tasty I know when you open the bag it smells really nice as well so I'm rustling the bag and as we speak I can hear a pea squeaking in the background <laughs> so they are definitely going to look forward to this later as a little Sunday treat now the price on these for the herbal garden is Two ninety nine a bag, so a little bit more expensive, but eighty nine p off the RRP price, so still saved a bit of money. So two ninety nine, and I saved eighty nine p per bag. So yeah, really pleased with that. Here is our next item uh, we have. So again, a bit of enrichment and uh, edible treat here. The pea and mint rollers. Um, I've just noticed there's a little hole in the bottom of the bag, so we've got some little bits of uh, hay coming off here, but never mind. So here we are. So we've basically, again, for suitable rabbits, guinea pigs, and chairs, dagoes, hamsters, and gerbils. So these are like cardboard tubes with hay that's been placed on the outside, and they've also been stuffed. It's quite difficult to see. They've also been stuffed with uh, pea and mint and hay. So let's have a look on the back. So meadow hay, vegetable starch, pea flakes, and peppermint. Uh, again, can be used uh, to roll around in a pet's cage. They can have a good old nibble. So you get two of these pea and mint rollers in a pack. Uh, Cost-wise, these were three forty-nine, so not cheap. However, according to the website, 
I saved £1.50 off the RRP price. So I thought it was quite a lot. And I do think these, these do go down quite well with the piggies. They do have a good old chew and they do take their time to get the stuff out. Um, yes, there is a slight hole in the bag, so I am losing some of the <laughs> some of the loose stuff. Oopsie. Although it's a lovely smell of uh, pea and mint, so I uh, can't complain. But yeah, they're about 15 to 20 centimetres, I'd say 20 centimetres long. Yeah, so quite a decent size. Um, I've had these before and the pigs have really enjoyed, again, just rolling them around, nibbling on the outside and then trying to get the stuff off the inside. So if we look at the ingredients, meadow hay, vegetable starch, pea flakes and peppermint. Okay, so the penultimate items from my box, I bought two packets of these. Uh, they are the trio of Fun Balls by Rosewood, again, uh, Naturals range, and these are medium. So unlike the big one we had before, these are smaller ones, but you get three different types in a packet. Okay, so we have uh, rattan, seagrass, and water hyacinth. So I think it's rattan, uh, seagrass is the one in the middle. Uh, that's water hyacinth, and that's the rattan. So yeah, so again, it's been a decent size. Um, great for just picking up, throwing around. Again, having a good old nibble. All right, so what's it say on the back? Designed to stimulate and entertain your pet, made from natural water, hyacinth, sea grass and rattan, no glues or staples, steam treated. Uh, so these are not recommended for pets under six weeks. Again, they're quite small, but you could always get your, you know, get a little head stuck in there if some of these opened up. So I wouldn't leave them with baby, baby animals, but obviously full size guinea pigs and rabbits, not a problem. But yeah, so I bought two packets because the price on these were 3 a packet I got them for each, saving one forty three a packet, which I thought was a bargain. And these went down really well last time. They chewed every single one up. Um, so that was really good. And they, they lasted, but they, they all got chewed up. So the, so the enrichment side, you know, worked really, really well. Especially with that, I've got some young adult piggies and they really like to throw things around. So really pleased with those. So I couldn't wait to get those back in the basket. Okay, so our final item of the day, which I've not ordered before, again from Rosewood, there's a theme going on here, and it is because purely I just like to use natural things for my piggies. I don't like lots of processed stuff, and we certainly don't need extra sugars, etc., in our piggies' treats and enrichment. So, yeah, Rosewood Natural seems to be a good, good brand to go to. Uh, so this is the I Love Hay Cube, and this is the medium-sized one. Uh, they do a larger one, um, but the medium sized one I picked this up for £3.84 and I saved £1.65. So I thought that was a good saving. Uh, I think the cube is probably about 15 centimetres in all diameters. So a good size. So basically, what it is, is you've got this cardboardy, starchy cube and it's got holes in the four sides so not only is the hay covered on the outside but then inside is stuffed with uh, lots of hay dandelion by the looks of it so it says on the front there is nothing better than hay to a fibrivore except a hay coated parchment box stuffed full of hay pets will love the fun and challenge of destroying the cube to nibble the hay and marigold inside smaller pets might even choose to nest in it Ideal for small animals. So obviously <laughs> your, your pigs aren't going to nest in this, um, but if you've got small animals, they could definitely go in there. So, but my piggies will certainly love chewing this away and then getting out the goodies from the inside. So I thought I'd give this one a go. So ingredients composition list is meadow hay, vegetable starch, cellulose fiber, marigold blossoms. Um, so yeah, so obviously the starch and that is to hold the, is the, the edible box. Um, so, so it's really natural with the meadow hay and the marigold blossoms. Pets vary in size and the windows is designed to be chewed and enlarged. As with similar products, it's recommended to check you're comfortable with the size of your pet and ensure the cube is regularly and sufficiently topped up with hay to further minimise the small chance of any heads getting stuck. We strongly suggest supervising play and to extend the life of your cube, add or remove as required, rather than leaving with your pet. So yeah, if you do have any concerns, obviously keep an eye on them and you can always take it out. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to trying this for the piggies. 
Uh, and obviously, like I said, you can take it out, refill it. It should last a while. And if it doesn't, well, I thought it was good value for money. So I should, hopefully, if it goes well and it's successful, I'll be ordering some more of these. They do a larger one. So if this goes well, I might use the larger, we'll buy a larger one next time. But that is our final item from, from today. So I'm quite excited to try all these. Some of them I've had before, some of them are new. And like I said, uh, Pet Care by Post is somewhere that I've found good prices for, for some of these small animal items. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. Uh, but I always like to look for a bargain on the internet. And uh, yeah, they seem to be doing a really good job with the... Uh, the range of small animal supplies they have in there. So yeah, and they come well packaged and very promptly. So the service is brilliant. So until next time, hopefully we'll have another video. Uh, I'm not sure quite what I'm gonna do one on yet, but it will be featuring the piggies, that's for sure. So after today and seeing all these items, I think we better feature the piggies and maybe do a little introduction on a who's who. All right, so until next time, goodbye.